What's up you guys? My name is Tuna. Thank you for visiting. We are going to be doing an unboxing and a review of the Dow E525W laser printer right over here. And uh, we're going to check it out, check out the cons and positives of the printer and see if it was a good decision of ours to pick up. Alright you guys, now to onto the software. We're going to go under dow.com slash support. We're going to enter our service tag and from there it's going to take us to the download center where we can download the drivers. So Windows 10 didn't automatically install the drivers for my uh, Dow, so this might or might not happen for you. But if it didn't, we're going to go ahead and do that right now. So we're going to go under drivers and downloads and pick the drivers for our Windows. Alright, so let's go ahead and click application. And I don't think, I think we see it right here. It's Guide Me E525 Software Suite. That's all there is. So let's go ahead and download that. Save it. All right, once it's done downloading, we're gonna run the program. I run it as an administrator, so you might wanna do that also. Now, where we got to the searching for printer, this thing lasted about a half an hour for me, and I gave up and I force closed it. Don't do that. It, it, it just takes a very long time. Shockingly, I don't know why. But once it does finish, it's going to say ready to print. So let's go ahead and do that. It's going to take us to the little Dell printer hub and it's going to show our printers. And here we go, you guys. So let's go ahead and print out a test page. Now it takes the Dell printer about 30 to 45 seconds to warm up to print. So that's one thing to keep in mind. But me, I don't mind as long as I'm not dealing with ink. So this image here is 1280 by 720 and you can check out the detail in it. Let's go ahead and get a close up. It's pretty good. It's not quite as good as a inkjet printer but for not having a deal with the cartridges and all that and the ink drying up, I say it does a good enough job. So let's compare it to the monitor. Now the mon monitor is going to be a bit brighter, but if you look at the colors, the blues, the reds, the yellows, they all match up. There's no discoloration or anything. So I think it's pretty good. What do you guys think? So you're probably wondering, how much are the toner cartridges? If you don't mind third party, you can score some deals on eBay and Amazon. You're looking at $22 for the cheapest, $28, $30. These are third party, so they're not original Dow toner cartridges. But if you don't mind that, you are going to be set for a very long time. So I would say if you're done with inkjet printers like I was, tired of the ink drying up, especially if you don't print out much stuff, this is a great printer to pick up. I didn't even get into the whole scanning and, and the faxing and all that stuff. So as long as you don't need full photo quality prints, I would say go ahead and pick this up. I would pick it up again. And um, my only gripe is that it takes 30, 45 seconds to warm up to actually print the first paper. But other than that, it's got my approval. <laughs> If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If not, go ahead and give it a thumbs down and let me know what I could do better in my videos. Make sure to comment and subscribe. Would love to hear from you guys. And I'll catch you guys on the next video.